Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and we're preparing videos for NEAT and AIPMT and this video is a part of that. So structural organization in animals, if you want to remember structural organization of animals under 10 minutes, the complete chapter important information of this chapter that you need to recall and remember so that you can answer some informative questions in meet any ipmt then this video is just for you okay so we are going to talk about all these different types of uh, structural organization in animal sequences and we're going to talk about that so let us begin with let's take a color and let's begin with this chapter And we are going to go with the first thing that is muscle type. Okay, type of muscle. That's what we're starting with. So type of muscle SSC exam. The easy way to remember types of muscle is SSC exam. We all know about it. School service commission exam. SSC is for skeletal, S for smooth and C for cardiac muscle. Three different types of muscle. Smooth muscle, skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle, right? This is skeletal muscle. This is smooth muscle and this is uh, cardiac muscle all these three types are different uh, they have different types of approach they have different presence of nucleus in different locations and their functions are always different but what we need to know is the three type of muscle that are present then we go to the second type which is epithelial tissue and there are a lot of different types of epithelial tissue and it becomes really hard for you to remember that that's why you come up with a very simple mnemonic very simple sentence sc and gcc computer tag along so there are let's say two different companies of computers sc computers and gcc computers they tag together okay become one big company one big giant so sc and gcc computer tag along if you remember this sentence you remember the types of epithelium tissue okay so sc s for squamous epithelial and uh, c for cuboidal epithelium okay squamous and cuboidal epithelium then gcc g for glandular c for columnar and c for compound so think about it okay so these are all examples so simple epithelium is squamous cuboidal columnar these are three example of simple epithelium well compound epithelium example i mean glandular epithelium example is always there glandular can be unicellular or multicellular and then the third one is a compound epithelial but these are all the types of possibilities of epithelial tissue that is available but remember why we keep sc separated squamous and cuboidal uh, along with columnar this three one are uh, simple and the compound is totally different and glandular is totally different so there are three different types of epithelial tissue uh, and all their uh, types are mentioned with this sc and gcc computer and the third uh, here sentence a third a word tag remains tag t for tight junction a for adherent junction and g for gap junction this, this is a part of cell junction types normally cell junctions where they are present when two cells connect with each other there are tight junctions there are adhering junctions and there are gap junctions so let's say this is how they look like you know this is a gap junctions that is connecting two cells and this is a tight this is adhering junction and this is some tight junctions okay so this is also known as intercellular junction and there are three types tag t for tight junction a for adhering junction made up with any kind of adherence molecules and then g for gap junction then uh, we are looking at the connective tissue the diversified classes of connective tissue types of connective tissue mnemonics the easy way to remember that is lsd l for loose connective tissue is for specialized connective tissue and d for dense connective tissue loose specialized and dense connective tissue okay these are the three types example of connective tissue and the other way to remember that you know even some example so these are the types of connective tissue lsd okay lsd is this type of drug that gets people crazy all about it so lsdl for loose connective tissue is for specialized connective tissue and d for dense connective tissue but what are the example of connective tissue you can clearly see cartilage blood bone adipose how to remember that in a sequence then look at this particular sentence aditi arranged car for bob aditi arranged a car for bob so aditi adi ad for adipose tissue ar is for areolar tissue cr car for cartilage 
B O for bone and last capital B is for the blood. So adipose tissue, areolar tissue, cartilages, bones and blood. Example of connective tissue. Now uh, we are going to see the cockroach mouth part, which is also present. And I I believe that the question sometimes asked from this part, and you get really confused to answer that because you need to remember a lot of things. So how to remember the different mouth parts of cockroach? The easy way to remember that the easy crazy sentence that is Mala created He Man in the lab. So Mala is an Indian girl, and he she created He Man in the lab. So Mala created He Man in the lab. Mala M A for maxilla, L A for labium, and H He Man's H for hyp hypopharynx, Man for mandible, and Lab for labrum. So maxilla, labium, hyp hypopharynx, mandible and labrum. These are the different parts of cockroach mouth. Okay, so think about it. If you look at this, you can easily find it out. Start from maxilla, then labium, then so two maxilla set. You can see one labium there. Then we have one hypopharynx, two mandibles and one labrum. Okay, so this is how they are present. So there are only uh, for maxilla, this is two and for mandible, there is two. Rest of these things are one, one, and one total seven different components five types of component mala created him and in the lab and the last thing that i must say is ex excretory organ of different animals and they have asked a lot of question from this in neat in aipmt uh, and also during your class 11 uh, exams so excretory organ of different animals how to remember that komal eats noodles from kitchen if you remember that komal eats noodles from kitchen you can easily understand the excretory organs of different animals okay so komal c o you know komal normally comes with k but we write it with c for the purpose so komal c o for cockroach and m a l is malpigian tubule so cockroaches excretory organ is malpigian tubule okay then then it's eats ea is for earthworm starts with ea earthworm and n for nephridia so earthworms uh, excretory organ is nephridia so cockroaches uh, excretory organ is malpigian tubule and earthworms uh, excretory organ is nephridia so komal eats noodles from kitchen is quite easy way to remember the excretory organ of different animals so this is all about it this is all about the organization in animals and i believe you understood this process quite well if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends who are preparing for neat and aipmt i believe uh, you if you subscribe you're going to get tons of this video for every single neat every single ncrt chapter so that you can remember that in just a blink of a second so that's all for today click the subscribe button click the like button and share this as much as you can thank you 